Hello everyone. Welcome to the online spoken English class. In this module today, we shall learn the use of pronouns like who, whom, which, whose, that, etc. Please read these sentences after me. Who was ringing the doorbell? The man who won the race is from a village. The book that you wanted was out of stock. That is the girl who scored the highest marks. Do you notice the words who and that used in the above sentences? Though the words who and that have been used as pronouns, but they are of different kinds. Now let us find out about such pronouns like who, whose, whom, which, that, this, these, and their correct use in sentences. Interrogative pronouns like who, whom, whose, which, etc. As is clear from the name, these pronouns are used to ask questions and they at the same time stand for nouns. Therefore, they are called interrogative pronouns. Now here are some sentences that will make it clear. Who was ringing the doorbell? Whom were you scolding so loudly? This bag is mine. Whose are those? In these three sentences, the words who, whom and whose are used to ask question. At the same time, they also refer to some noun. For example, in the first sentence, who was ringing the doorbell? Who stands for the person who was ringing the bell. Therefore, it is a pronoun and it is asking a question. Therefore, interrogative pronoun. Now, the words like who, whom, that are not always used to ask questions. As pronouns, they sometimes relate a noun to a group of words that follow it. Now let us see these examples. The man who won the race is from a village. In this sentence, the pronoun who relates the noun man to the words won the race. Which man? The man who won the race. So, here, who is a relative pronoun. And further, the noun to which this relative pronoun relates is called its antecedent. For example, in the sentence that you just read, the man who won the race is from a village. The word man is the antecedent of the relative pronoun who? Similarly, in the sentence, the book that you wanted was out of stock. The pronoun that is a relative pronoun that relates the noun book to the words you wanted. In the third sentence, the people whom we met were going to the fair. The relative pronoun whom relates the noun people to the group of words we met. Demonstrative pronouns. The words like this, that, those, these point out the persons or things to which these pronouns refer. Let us understand this with these sentences. That is the girl who scored the highest marks. 
this is a guava tree those are the birds that migrate in the winters now in these sentences as you see the pronouns that this and those are pointing out to some noun therefore they are called demonstrative pronouns they are not only pointing out to something or someone they like all pronouns are referring to or replacing the nouns as well they help the listener to understand exactly what or whom the speaker is talking about a question must be arising in your minds that the words like this these which that are used both as an adjective and as a pronoun so how will you distinguish whether the word has been used as a pronoun or as an adjective for this just remember the basic definition you remember that adjective is usually used before the noun and it qualifies or describes a noun while a pronoun replaces or refers to a noun now let us understand this with these two sentences first sentence this is my book here the word this stands for the noun book therefore it is a pronoun but in the next sentence this book is mine this has been used before the noun book and it qualifies the noun book therefore in this sentence the word this is an adjective now let us take another example the sentence is which is the bus that will go to varanasi here the word which stands for the noun bus therefore it is a pronoun in another sentence which bus will go to varanasi the word which has been used before the noun bus and is an adjective thus as you see we should never say that a word is a noun an adjective a pronoun a verb etc it may be used as a noun in one sentence and as an adjective in another and yet as a pronoun in another the class or the part of speech to which a word belongs depends upon its placement in the sentence and thus upon the work it does in a particular sentence when the words who whom which and that are being used as relative pronouns there are certain rules to be followed now let us see those rules who and whom are used only for people they are never used for things or objects the relative pronoun which is used only for objects or things it is never used for people the relative pronouns that and whose can be used for both people and things now let us understand these rules by some examples please listen to this sentence the boy which you met is my nephew this is a wrong sentence because which cannot be used for people therefore the correct sentence is the boy whom you met is my nephew and the sentence the car who met the accident was brand new this again is wrong because who cannot be used for an object or a thing therefore the correct sentence would be the car which met the accident was brand new now for a quick recap in this module we learned the use of words like who whom that 
these etc when used as different kinds of pronouns we also learned the same words used as an adjective or a pronoun and how are they to be distinguished we also learned the rules for the use of the relative pronouns like who which that whom when thank you